Budesonide, formoterol, sold under the brand name Simbicort among others, is a combination medication used in the management of asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. It contains budesonide, a steroid and formoterol, a long-acting beta-2 agonist LABA. It is not recommended for sudden worsening or treatment of active bronchospasm. It is used by breathing in the medication. Common side effects include throat pain, influenza, runny nose, and a yeast infection of the mouth. There were concerns that the LABA component increases the risk of death in children with asthma, however these concerns were removed in 2017. Therefore, this combination is only recommended in those who are not controlled on an inhaled steroid alone. It is unclear if use of the combination is safe in pregnancy. Both formoterol and budesonide are excreted in breast milk. Budesonide formoterol was approved for medical use in the United States in 2006. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. In the United States, as of 2017, the wholesale cost of an inhaler is about 30 United States dollars. In the United Kingdom the cost as of 2015 was about £35 for a unit with 120 doses. Medical uses Budesonide, formoterol is a combination inhaled corticosteroid, long-acting beta agonist ICS, LABA, that has shown some efficacy to prevent asthma attacks. In people with asthma, budesonide, formoterol formulation for both maintenance and as-needed treatment reduces exacerbations better than as-needed formoterol or as-needed terbutaline. Nevertheless, it is unclear as to whether this strategy is better than increasing a maintenance dose of Simbicort or similar combined inhaler. The combination is approved in the United States only as a maintenance medication in asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease (COPD). Doses. Simbicort in the United States is a metered dose inhaler and is available in 160 quarters 0.5 mcg and 80 quarters 0.5 mcg per actuation. In the European Union, Australia, Canada, Israel, Saudi Arabia and elsewhere the combination is available as a dry powder inhaler in the following doses, 50 thirds, 40 halves 0.25, 100 thirds, 80 halves 0.25, 106, 80 quarters 0.5, 206, 160 quarters 0.5, and 412, 329, where the larger number is the dose per actuation of budesonide, in micrograms, and the lower number the dose of formoterol, also also in micrograms. Side effects Common, up to 1 in 10 people. Mild throat irritation Coughing Hoarseness Oral candidiasis thrush. Significantly less likely if the patient rinses their mouth out with water after inhalations Headache often mild, and usually disappear as the medication continues to be used. Heart palpitations. Trembling. Uncommon, up to 1 in 100 people. Feeling restlessness, nervous, or agitated. Disturbed sleep. Feeling dizzy. Nausea. Tachycardia, fast heart rate, bruising of the skin, muscle cramps. Rare, up to 1 in 1,000 people. Rash, itchiness, bronchospasm, tightening of the muscles in the airways causing wheezing immediately after use of the medication, which is possibly sign of an allergic reaction and should be met with immediate medical attention. Hypokalemia, low levels of potassium in the blood. Heart arrhythmia. Very rare, up to 1 in 10,000 people. Depression changes in behavior, especially in children, chest pain or tightness in chest, increase in blood glucose levels, taste changes, such as an unpleasant taste in the mouth, 
Changes in blood pressure. Other With high doses for a long period of time. Reduced bone mineral density, causing osteoporosis. Cataracts. Glaucoma. Slowed rate of growth in children and adolescents. Dysfunction of the adrenal gland, which affects the production of various hormones. Allergic reaction. Angioedema, swelling of the face, mouth, tongue, and or throat. Difficulty swallowing, hives, difficulty breathing, feeling of faintness. Bronchospasm, sudden acute wheezing or shortness of breath immediately after use of medication. The patient should use their reliever medication immediately. Market Budesonide, formoterol formulation was introduced in Sweden in 2000. It was approved for use in the United States in July 2006. It is now approved for use in at least 70 countries, yielding global sales in excess of $1 billion in 2005, and now approximately $3.7 billion per annum. There are several patents related to the drug, some of them are already expired. It was initially marketed by AstraZeneca. References External links FDA Highlights